Hey guys, um, my week has been going okay. How has your week been going? Love you guys. Hey, new subscribers. Hey, I love you guys too. Um, I am gonna come. I'm coming right now to show you guys to how to do lock extensions, um, permanent and temporary. Um, yeah. So. I do have extensions in about 60% of my hair. The rest fell out a long time ago and I never put them back or I tried doing they fell out again. So yeah, that's when I was doing it the temporary way. So I'm going to show both ways for people who don't necessarily want, you know, long extensions for a long time or whatever. So first things first, we have, you have to get hair. Now I'm going to show you how the hair that I got looks. Okay. Here's what it looks like. It is very kinky. Um, I purchased them in bulks of one ounce, and one ounce is like a like a hefty size. But one ounce can't do a whole head, so you might have to buy two different, you know, two whatever. Or if you maybe you want to do the front longer than the back, whatever. So I got this from hisandher.com. Hisandher.com, and you go to the search portion. Let me just do it while I'm talking to y'all right now. Um, his and her .com. and you go to come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you go to there's like a search portion in the top and type in Afro A F R O kinky hair. Okay, type in Afro kinky hair. And you are going to see the fourth one from the, it says tight afro kinky. And that's the one that you will get to do this, to do extensions. So hisandher.com, go to the search porch and right at the top, you can't miss it, it's right on top of the phone number to call the place. You put in tight, no not tight, afro kinky hair. And it's the fourth selection that you see like a little braid and then a bunch of hair like this on the picture. And then you'll click, you'll click it and you click bulk, the bulk one, or you can click, you know, whichever one you want, but I get the bulk one, the bulk tight Afro kinky. Now, um, this hair does dye, it does color, I mean, and I'm going to show you the ones that I've colored. Give me a sec. Okay, okay guys, here is the little pieces of hair that I dyed. Now, I didn't know if it was going to color, so what I did was I um, took a bunch of hair like this, I separated it, I had a little bowl and I put bleach on it. I know it sounds terrible, but I wanted the hair to take, so it made, the bleach made the hair so much lighter. And then when I was dyeing my hair, I put some dye on the hair and I let it sit for like two, and, two hours. So yeah, it, it took, so I was happy about that, just to make sure that it would take in my hair the extensions that I had in there now okay now we're gonna get to doing the extensions I'm gonna show you both ways this is the temporary way right now okay I'm gonna do one okay here's one now you see the hair has been separated it's just one strand I mean yeah it's just one strand now, I don't know how long or short you want the extension, depending on how long or short is where you would start it. Now, when I first, I did this, the extensions when I was four months into my sister lock thing, and I was just, I felt funny that my hair was so short and whatever, so I figured out a way to do extensions. And, okay, you take the hair like this, you take it, you see it's stretched out. Um, I started about, my, maybe a, a little less than an inch, yeah, this is probably an inch, an inch ab uh, at the top, this is what I did. Now, I took the hair like this. You see? It's like it's like making a cross. The two ends are right there, and there's little pieces in the middle. Now, I just start to braid it like regular. Start to braid it like regular. Start to braid it. Like if you were braiding, you know, your own hair. And that's it. Just like this. Now this will probably, well for me, a lot of the ones that I did like this fell out. So, and then once you, when you get to like the end, you see where that, that little piece right there is my real hair and this extra is the extension. 
So you start break, you start to twist it. So you get here where it's almost gone. You can go all the way down if you want to. Um, I usually leave a little bit, but I'm gonna just do it. Just I'm gonna go all the way down. And then you start to twist it. So, but I would put this here. This piece is locked. I did this before my hair was locked, so you know it was easy to braid. You know it didn't stick out like it's doing now. And you just go all the way down with it and twist it all the way down. And you don't really have to, you know, care too much how you twist it. You, you got to be perfect. No, the messier it is, the more faster this extension will lock. So that was this is an extent. This is how I did my extension. I started it about an inch above, and then maybe two inches is an extension. So there you go. Guys, now this is the permanent way. This is the way that I figured out how to do it how to do it so that my extensions wouldn't fall out like this one and the front without the extension this one would have stopped like right here but with the extension it added like an inch and a half to it so in the front there were like a few in the front and a lot mm, like on the sides of the back yeah that were bothering me so I put extension there okay so now I'm talking too much now for this more permanent way, you need a hairpin. Now what you do is take this, cross it like this, and you know, try to squeeze it so it can stay like that. So like what I do is I squeeze it and then it ends up coming like that. You see how it's like across like that little thing at the, now this is what you're gonna use to do the extension. Okay, now what you're going to do is take this and push it through um, where you want the extension to start from. So, um, okay, I'm looking. I hope you guys can see. I'm doing it uh, here. So what you got to do is take it. It's kind of hard. You got to try to force it through. My hair is already locked, so it's, like I, it's hard to do it. So I'm going to try to make a hole with the end of this. You see how it's um, in the middle of it now. I can't take it out. It's stuck, so it's in the middle. So I go like this to, you know, make a hole there. You know, I tug at it. Then, you, like, you, you have to use a mirror because where... Did it do it? Yeah. You see how I got it through the middle by doing that. So now... Um, you guys see that? It's right through the middle. Now, what I'm gonna do is get a piece of hair. So here's a piece of hair again. Now I'm gonna just try to get one end to be kind of more formed than the other. You see how this end is like wild and I'm trying to, you know, rub this one so it could be like that. Now what I do is I take it, the little, the part that's more formed, I put it through this hole. So now you pull it through that hole. And when it gets halfway, you see it's ha like almost halfway. It's not in through my hair. I take the hole, the loop, and I put, hold the end that I, you know, I put through it first. Hold it, and then pull the rest of it through. So now it's stuck in the middle of my hair. So see, this is it. Now I'm just gonna twist it down. I'm gonna add the little piece of my hair to it to one side and then twist it down okay. so here it is and you see where my hair ends right there and I you know just roll that between my fingers and there it is that is a lock or sister lock extension now if you guys have any questions I'll try I'm gonna try I don't know <laughs>